What's going on everyone, this is Ninja Geek here, and welcome back to, I guess, part two of my Ghostbusters video. Last, or uh, yesterday, I actually made my video talking about that you should go see Ghostbusters no matter how much hate the, the trailers and the hype uh, the before the movie came out was. Uh, even myself, I did not enjoy the trailers whatsoever. I didn't enjoy the, the cast for it. I didn't enjoy anything at all. But, um, and, and I base, but in yesterday's video, I basically covered and said that you should go watch it for yourself because it's honestly not that bad. Now, here is my review of it. Do, starting right off the bat, obviously, of course, the original Ghostbusters in the, the whole series lineup, nothing is going to beat that. Ghostbusters 2 didn't beat that, even though that movie wasn't that bad at all. It, it was a good movie, Ghostbusters 2, but Ghostbusters, the original, obviously is a classic that you just can't beat. This new Ghostbusters, I was going into it thinking that it was going to be bad because of everything that occurred. How they falsely hyped up the the trailer to be to make you want to see it, to compare it to the original. And I be, believe they did that on purpose. They didn't they're not stupid. They I think they did that because if they came out with an awesome trailer for this movie, People would probably still hate on it, but the trailer itself was not that good in my own opinion, and it showed off some of the weaker spots of the movie, uh, like spots that really don't really matter or were too comical to put in the trailer. There, are, The movie definitely has its ons and offs. One thing that I see a lot complained about this movie is the fact that because it's a whole female cast that it's... It has more of a, a sense of female superiority, which I definitely did see within the movie. A lot of the men in the movie really were plain stupid, to be honest. Like, they were, um, what's the word for it? Like, they just completely acted like, completely like a retarded person. Like, on purpose, just to make a joke out of it. And I'm not really a fan of that part of the movie. That part was, it could have been left out, but... Um, the, the main part that I wanted to address here that I never even knew because I, the, the only thing I saw leading up to this movie was obviously the announcement of Ghostbusters 2016 and how I didn't necessarily like the way that they were going with it and then I saw the trailers for it, but I didn't know really like much details, but when watching this movie, I saw Bill Murray, um, just all of the, like most of the, not all, but most of the original cast from the original movie came back to, uh, what, what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't, they, they didn't have main parts. They came back as side, as side casts because, uh, to show off that, yes, the original Ghostbusters are still here in some way, but not the original way, like for example, uh, the biggest one, Bill Murray, he was obviously one of the main Ghostbusters in the original movie. In this movie, I thought when I saw him first, I thought like he was gonna come back and say something along the lines of, yeah, like 30 years ago, we had this problem in New York City, and now it's rising up again, and and the, I believe that this new team can accomplish this. They didn't do that at all. I thought they were going to go that route when I first saw him, but they completely changed him into a new character as some random famous scientist who did not believe in what these new Ghostbusters were doing and had no clue about it. Do I, I don't, I think both sides are great. I just, I think it would have been better to have had someone like Bill Murray say, like, bring back the, the nostalgic feeling of saying, yeah. Like, these Ghostbusters, I think, can handle the job that we took on 30 years ago. Would have It would have just left us with a warm feeling like, yeah, you know, I, I think so too. That these Ghostbusters uh, can handle that. There was that those parts in the movie definitely where they had... Uh, they even brought back the secretary at the end of the movie. Uh, somewhere towards the end, they had her in it. They had... Um, uh, like, they just had so many people play different little parts in it that if you watch the original, which of course you should have because it's based off the original, um, you would just say, oh, they, you know, they did that little thing versus not having them in at all. It would have just been a plain movie. I like that little aspect that they added a lot of stuff in. However, you know, like going back to the female superiority, I don't have a problem with the female cast that they people have problems with it being a female cast and it should be a male cast if anything i feel that the main cast for this movie did an excellent job at playing their roles 
Um, I just think that they they were a perfect fit, honestly, after I saw this movie. They weren't anything close to the original Ghostbusters and how they were, but these these people that they rounded up for the cast of these Ghostbusters were not bad either. I feel that they had their their share of different personalities. They weren't all the same. You had uh, one, like, a major scientist. You had different things being brought back, like when they got the uh, the Ecto-1, actually, it was a uh, a hearse that... It, it, it kind of took in some modern aspects and put it in there and made some funny jokes, and that's what Ghostbusters was about. But at the same time, the trailers showed off more comical than scary. And Ghostbusters is not at all... It's supposed to be a scary movie, but the original had the, the conflict between horror and not and uh, comedy and this movie i feel took in some of the same aspects as that except it was more modern comedy except it was more um what's what's the word it was it was more modern comedy that really was a slap in the face some of it wasn't funny some of it was really funny just different moments depending on how you personally took it and um, obviously then getting into special effects, anything better than, than anything that they had back in 1984 when they made the original Ghostbusters. Um, still, even though the original Ghostbusters does stand up to today's standards in terms of what they did with that movie, but obviously now with CGI, everything just looks so much better. And when I mean better, some people complained that before the movie actually came out, they complained that the CGI ghosts look like they were straight from Disney's The Haunted Mansion, and they do, but I don't know, it, it, it didn't, if they made the ghosts with CGI look so, like, super, super scary, then I think that it would have just been, it, it would have just threw off the whole theme of the, of the movie, because it would have just been like, oh, these are like really scary and you're making a joke out of really scary things. Making it more dumbed down versions that look like Disney's A Haunted Mansion makes it look comical to that aspect, which is what the original Ghostbusters had. And at first I wasn't a theme of more comical, but seeing how the movie ended up coming together, um, I did enjoy that. And by no means is this movie awesome, like totally awesome. But I do feel that they added in the things that were needed and were necessary, like the the origin, some of the original cast in there, some little minor things. Like if you have, there was one part of the movie where they, um, one of the main Ghostbusters actually goes to the mayor, which in this movie, comparing it to the original, was a little bit weird because some things were were sort of similar, like getting the uh, the Cadillac or the, the hearse to get the Ecto-1 they got, that some things were similar and referring back to the original, some things were different. In the original, the mayor of the city of New York wanted to get these Ghostbusters in to help out the city and protect the city from all these ghosts that were overrunning it. In this particular movie, of course, as you know, since you've probably already seen it now, since it's, I've warned you already that this has spoilers, the these the government in New York now and the mayor, uh, they want, they believe that these Ghostbusters are serious and true to what they're doing and their scientific and their research and everything like that, but they don't want to get the word out to the people because they don't want it to create all of this hype around them, so they, the government wants to make believe that they are false and a fake and a phony, the, the Ghostbusters, so that they can just tone everything down and, uh, and that's basically what they were trying to do. So anyways, getting on, one of the jokes that I wanted to say was um, that the one of the main Ghostbusters, when the mayor and everyone's sitting down around eating it, this is like more towards the end of the movie, she goes, like, you have to shut down the power to New York City because there's just so many... Uh, you need to do this because it's just going to be a giant uh, problem if you don't, and it's going to help save, and the mayor obviously didn't want to do anything like that uh, because he obviously didn't want to create more hype, and especially around everyone since they're in a public place, and then she goes, just don't be the mayor from Jaws and just do this, and then he just goes, well, first of all, don't ever call me the mayor from Jaws because as you know, or if you've seen the movie Jaws, another excellent movie, um, 
maybe who knows maybe they'll make a, a redo or a remake of jaws that's probably that'll probably come soon they have so many shark movies out uh probably relating to that but i mean like a full-on remake of jaws but anyways the mayor of jaws if you if you did not know he didn't really do anything he was just like you know at whatever until more cases and more evidence of of big matter started coming in and even then he was skeptical of it so he was the kind that just didn't want anything to do with it and they were referring to a lot of that within that one particular scene like don't be this mayor from jaws like referring to other movies and I, I, I like that aspect. Some parts I didn't like, like there was one part, I believe it was towards like the beginning middle-ish part of the movie where they, I think it was just the three Ghostbusters at this point, the fourth one didn't join in yet, or no, it might have been, that they were, I, 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 it was somewhere during the, the beginning middle because it was obviously them trying to regain uh, the, I guess, Ghostbuster name, they weren't called the Ghostbusters at this point, and, um, they, and they were first finding out for the first time, like, all this ghost activity, all this paranormal, uh, activity going on, and they were like, well, now who are people gonna call, and you were expecting, just like, I was expecting, just like, to hear, like, the little, and then it would go on, right, I was expecting to hear that drawn out, and then go on to another scene, but then all of a sudden, you just hear, um, you just hear this random, like, kids screaming, like, ghost jumpers, and it cuts to the TV showing these, like, it was, like, ghost hunters, like, if you know that TV show was, like, going around hunting around for the paranormal activity of ghosts, and then she goes on to explain, Abby, I think the, uh, one of the Ghostbusters, she goes on to explain how these people are fake, and they, you know, they're ruining any chance that we have at actually being legit about worrying about ghosts, and these people are ruining it for us, it, that, it kind of, I, I was expecting more of a grand, more introduction type of thing to lead on to another scene, but instead we got that, I don't know, I was, maybe it's just because of what I was expecting, just going over different things, overall, saying, uh, just, I honestly can say that this movie was not a sequel, it was not obviously it wasn't a prequel because it happened after it was not it's not a sequel i just think that it's its own movie they should have called this ghostbusters the next generation and kind of took it off from there because that's basically what it is but if you if you compare this to the original in no way does this new movie beat out the original at all in terms of graphics uh, like the cgi and the animations and everything like that of course the newer one's going to beat out the older one just because of simply newer technology but in terms of the actual movie, they the original is obviously going to be better, but taking this movie as a standalone and everything that happened in it, the like I said, the best part I honestly think about this movie was the fact that they brought in some of the original cast, different parts of the movie, and they wouldn't even like introduce you to them. They they weren't like uh, they weren't like, oh, here's Bill Murray, and then he comes on, like, all of a sudden, at, at one point, all of the Ghostbusters are sitting around this TV watching, and you just see the news reporter, and he, it's like, they're all watching the TV, and the news reporter on TV goes a out of the, the blue, so what do you think to this random famous, uh, scientist that does a lot of research and stuff, and he's like, what do you think about these Ghostbusters and, and their research and everything, do you think it's it's legit? And then it cuts, and it's Bill Murray, and he says, no, these it's completely fake, I don't believe in this at all, and it's just a little part that made the people, like everyone watching, the viewer, feel like, oh, there's an original... Per, there's an original cast member, I like how they did that, and it's just little things like that, and how they incorporated Bill Murray and uh, lots of people from the original into this one. Overall, getting into my thoughts on the end, you could obviously leave some comments below if I missed uh, talking about anything. Oh, actually, I'll talk about the ending, because... So the ending to the original Ghostbusters, nothing compared to the original Ghostbusters. Of course, in the original Ghostbusters, you know, you, they had to fight off the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man because of Ray's thinking of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, one of the most harmless creatures in his own mind. They tried to think of nothing, but Ray ended up th picking the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man as the enemy to defeat, and then once they sort of defeated them, it kind of turned into this whole thing that they that everything just went back to its former state in New York was resolved with still the same damage that had occurred over 
what just happened. So all the damage of the the cave-ins in the in the road and all of the damage of the buildings and everything remained the same afterwards. And then it was based on city cleanup. Here in the newer movie, it was this guy who, of course, throughout the entirety of the movie, he was a of this person that hated people because he would never was appreciated for anything he did in his entire life so he was trying to regain these ghosts to take back over new york city uh previous souls who were dead to take back over new york city to eliminate all people and he was just an evil person so in this movie it wasn't really the ghosts necessarily that got unleashed by themselves it was more of this guy who who tried to do it manually and without this guy they probably wouldn't have got released so that was the whole basis and at the end he turned into the main logo of the ghostbusters which of course over 30 years now and and uh onwards uh the the main logo of who the ghost is the one that's on my shirt right now as you can look this is actually a glow in the dark t-shirt that uh that the ghost like glows up in the dark pretty cool shirt but um he turned into the like a big giant version of them and their whole objective was to take this guy down and they obviously incorporated some of the other ghosts within the entire film so you had slimer you had a bunch of other ghosts that were in the other previous ghostbusters in this one obviously remade by cgi that to look better or worse depending on how you think of that but obviously the CGI technology is better nowadays than they had back then in the 80s. So um, the ending ended, of course, as the, the they were driving, Slimer and his family were driving in the Ghostbusters Cadillac that they had. And the top of it is basically like a nuclear uh, receptor. So if they it was hit, that thing was just going to explode. And they got into the portal, exploded and started trapping everything. It closed it in. And they, um, basically when they got the main, uh, big giant ghost out of, like, got him into the trap and into the, um, into the portal and then they would close it and then two of the Ghostbusters fell in, they ended up escaping, getting out and, uh, and it just became, and when the portal, like, closed... New York City just went back to its former state as it was before anything happened, before ghosts, like, destroyed all the buildings, destroyed, it went back to its former state, so, um, that, that kind of makes me confused, because it's like in the original, all the destruction was still there, but now it's just like, oh, everything's returned back to its normal state, the military can go back to doing what they were doing and whatnot, I don't know, the ending wasn't as groundbreaking as the original ending was so it kind of left off on a weird taste however at the end they did bring in more characters from the original film so uh and I, I like how when the end credits were actually rolling they filmed some extra stuff and all of the soldiers and everything were dancing around to this song um overall ghostbusters the original a million times better than this new one however comp like not comparing this new Ghostbusters movie to the original, was it amazing? No. Was it bad? No. Was it good? Yeah, I'll give it the fact that it was good. It definitely was better and exceeded anything of my thoughts um, that I've thought previously about the movie, and that's basically what I have to say about it. Uh, another funny thing, actually, that I'm thinking about now in the movie was when they started to form the Ghostbusters, all three, not four at this point, and they, uh, they realized that this was going to be a thing because so many people were having these problems, so they needed an, uh, the supplies to obviously do it, they needed, a, like, a place to do it, and the institute where Abby was sort of working on her experiments was, uh, they, the, uh, the principal of that institution, the main guy, was like, I didn't even know you still existed, and then he ended up flipping them off, like, <laughs> and then he ca he caught it, oh, look, caught the bird, uh, I just, like, I think that they incorporated a lot of funny stuff, some of it was, like, oh, that's just stupid, some of it was actually funny, and, um, overall, that's what I have to say about the movie, but disliking it or liking it, you can let me know, obviously, this is more of a controversial topic, which is why I wanted to make uh, this specific video, normally I don't do movie reviews, 
barely i haven't done any but if you want me to for say review another movie and hopefully maybe do it better i don't know do a better job whatever the case may be i can definitely do that and you know talk about my thoughts about certain movies but you can let me know down below your thoughts about all that and i'll see you on the next one this is ninja geek i'm out and peace